Hi guys, this video is about the My Enumeration System. Um, the objectives for this video are to learn how to read and write using the My Enumeration System up through 400 and gain some insight into the purpose of place value and in this case why base 20 makes sense. So I don't know if you guys ever thought about this before, but why, why do we use 10 numerals, the digits 0 through 9 in our system, to represent all of our numbers? Might it also make sense to use a different amount of numerals, perhaps more, perhaps less? So today we're going to look at the Mayan numeral system, which relied on the use of only three different symbols to represent all numbers. They had a single dot to represent a value of 1. A bar represented a value of 5 and a shell shape represented zero. So you might be wondering how they would accomplish this in an efficient way. In this picture you see, would this really be what it would like be like to represent the number 32,502? It would be 6,500 bars and two dots? Well, luckily the answer is no. They used a base 20 or bigesimal system, which like our base 10 system, could utilize place value to keep the written size of a number manageable. And as you will see, this system was somewhat base 5, somewhat base 20, and even had a special exception to the rule when they did calendar mathematics. But we won't be discussing the calendar mathematics in this video. To begin writing numbers using the Maya enumeration system, let's take a look at the first 10 numbers, 1 through 10. I'm going to compare it to the Hindu Arabic system that we use. One is represented by one dot, two by two dots, three by three dots, four by four dots, five is a bar, six by a bar and a dot, seven a bar and two dots, eight a bar and three dots, nine a bar and four dots, and finally ten is represented by two bars. And now let's jump to 18, 19, and 20. 18 is represented by three bars, 5, 10, 15, and three dots, 16, 17, 18. 19 is represented by three bars, 5, 10, 15, and four dots, 16, 17, 18, 19. When we get to the number 20, something happens. 20 is represented by a single dot above the shell shape. So notice that we jump to the what we're going to call the next place value vertically. In the second place value, which is above the first place value, each dot will represent a value of 20. That single dot represents a value of 20. And notice that the shell is holding the ones place value empty. Let's talk about the number 68. How many 20s should there be in 68? If you were thinking three, you are correct. Let's see how the number is built. Beginning in the 20s place, one dot is 20, two dots makes 40, and three dots makes 60. Now to the ones place. I add a bar, I get 65, another dot 66, another dot 67, and our last dot makes 68. Can you imagine the number 92? Pause the video before seeing the answer. 92. 92 is comprised of four dots in the 20s place, 20, 40, 60, 80, two bars in the ones place, making it 85, 90, and two dots, 91, 92. You may be wondering about the use of the five for the bar and the 20 for place value. Well, it's natural to count by fives because we have five fingers on each hand. And if you extend the counting to include both hands and feet, you have base 20. In a warm climate, perhaps like the Mayan climate, there may be no need for shoes, and it might be more natural to begin counting in this fashion. Let's take a look at larger numbers. How about the number 353? How many 20s would fit into 353? Well, one way we can do this is think about peeling off 13 to get a number that's divisible by 20. Let's think of 353 as 340 plus 13 more. Then we can divide 340 by 20 to see that there are 17 20s to make up 340. So the number 350 feet, 353 would be represented in the following fashion. In the 20s place, we would have three bars and two dots. That would make 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. In the 20s place, or 17 20s, that would be 340. And in the 1s place, we have two bars and three dots, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. 
So these two place values together represent our whole number of 353. Can you make the number 217? Pause the video before seeing the answer. And here's our answer. 217 has a value of 20 in the 20s place. I'm sorry, 10 in the 20s place. 5, 10, that would be 200. And 12 in the 1s place, as depicted in the image. Finally, we get to the number 399, which looks like this. It has 19 in the 20s place, and it has 19 in the 1s place. So it uh, is made up of maxing out each of the two place values. The next number is very special, 400. 400 is 20 times 20, or 2020s. This means that we have to go to the third decimal place. A single dot in the 400s place represents the number 400. And then a shell is a placeholder in the 20s place, and another shell in the 1s place, making zero in each one of those two places. This base 20 system would extend on and on as needed, and the place values would be called the 1s, the 20s, the 400s, the 8,000s, the 160,000s, and so on. Now, that's the end of this video, and on to some practice for you.